Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to uh, Multiplayer for Take Two. This time we decided, fuck Africa, let's go out on the steps. Joining me, as always, is Prussian Prince and Marbazir. Say hi, hi everyone. Guys. Hi. All right, so, as I said, today we're on the steps, because yep. we got pwned really hard in Africa. I'm playing I as... I thought we'd get pwned really hard here. <laughs> <laughs> we hope not, we hope not. <laughs> I'm playing as everyone's favorite beast, the Golden Horde. And, and I'm playing as no guy. And I am Kazan. Alright, well. So I suppose we should probably ally each other and stuff? Yes. Yeah, probably. I will send out the... Oh wait, oh. no guy hates me. <laughs> oh, we both <laughs> have CBs have to, on each other. We have to unlock yeah. first. So, uh, we yeah. can't ally Barbs here. <laughs> we hate him too much. Yes. <laughs> oh, you can't even offer it anymore. Did they change that? Because you used to be able uh, to... Here, uh, here, here, Marvazir. That... I'll give you a royal marriage offer. That should get our relations high enough. Yeah, but now they you can send that me in the multiplayer? Because the way it used to work is that uh, no, it's... you could still offer it even though the AI would not accept, but you oh. as a human player are not the AI. Isn't yeah, no, but it's always if it's below zero, you can never get an alliance. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think uh, there's a mod, though, that changed yeah. that. Pretty sure there is. You can still offer even though it's below, for like multiplayer purposes. Yeah, we have CBs, it seems. Yep. But we can always guarantee each other to get in towards. Yep. Well, I'm just going to send you an alliance offer uh, mm -hmm. on the 12th of December when I can send another diplomat. Okay. So do you really want to attack Moscovy first? Because I could see this ending terribly for us. Real marriage well, offer. I'm just attacking uh, Crimea because they're small, they're puny. Right. I'm going to sit back and build up like more cavalry units. <laughs> and then we Excellent. can go think about engaging. I think the time to strike Muscovy is when he declares war on Novgorod. They, that could be good. <clears throat> then we just backstab. And hopefully not get backstabbed. In return. Hopefully. We'd be like, oh, Moscow is attacking Novgorod. Yay, let's get a free backstab. Oh, wait. Uzbek and Timurids declared war. What's this? <laughs> okay, let's get the marriages going. Mm hmm. Alright. Hordes love each other. Well, this is an excellent start for me. The rebels. <laughs> yeah, as I say that, rebels, so apparently the game disagrees yeah. with me. <laughs> and we the need military hell? access with each other as well. Alliance offer hmm. from Timurids. Hmm. I'd take it. Do Let's I see. want yeah, that's piety actually... or negative piety? I would actually take that. Yeah, I'll take it. And then see if I can drag them into a war. <laughs> it's less likely that they will all attack us at the same time. Yes. <laughs> Ideally, we want to go concert of Europe style and create such a convoluted al network of alliances that nobody mm -hmm. can attack anybody. Yeah. Very much. Royal marriage offer from Timurids. Huh. Okay. Then you won't be able to declare war on me that easily. It's, I don't think the Timurids will declare war on you. Yeah, though. probably on Nogai. <laughs> but oh well. Royal marriage with no guy. So is that a lesbian wedding? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Okay, so maybe I haven't gotten all the African puns out of my system yet. <laughs> oh dear. Protect against Uzbek. I need to have 17 units? How are are you not going to kill these rebels? I am, I am. I just need to like I had maintenance on low, so <laughs> so I need to make money to make more cab, and at this rate I won't be able to. I just don't set my maintenance to low anymore. It's too risky. <laughs> you won't make any money, man. <laughs> I lost oh games because gosh. of that, and you yeah. need a lot of time to get full morale back. Yeah. 
So if you get like a huge rebel stack right next to you and you're at minimum morale <laughs> or if someone declares war on you and then attacks you before you can regain morale, you're kind of screwed. Ooh, I can hire advisors. That's actually often a pretty good way to beat the AI because it sits at low morale. All you have to do is catch their army in a neighboring province. Declare war and then attack them before they can regain morale. <laughs> That's so annoying. Oof. It's hard to say which I want. Administrative or military focus. Hmm. It's tough to say. I think I want to go admin, probably. Yeah. Go I'm going admin. By the way, it may Your be is really good, Kelvin. <laughs> yeah, I know he's awful. But he's a great general. He came out for shock. Mm-hmm. So, he's got something, right? Yep. Alright. Okay, I need to increase autonomy here, sadly, because I don't want rebels. <laughs> well, don't forget, we're also hordes, so we can't have an autonomy lower than 25% in the every province. Oh, right. Uh, the capital withstanding, I believe, yeah. The capital can have an autonomy of zero. Nothing else, though. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit sucky. Yeah. Yep. It is. So, looks like you'll be done soon, except some of your sieges aren't progressing because it's 2k... Garrisons. Yeah, I just have it split up so that way uh, they can't build units. Yeah. You could send 1k from Kuban, maybe, and you'd still... Yeah, I guess that. I could. Maybe, Except there's yeah. actually a lot of people there. There's 4k yeah. in that one. I suppose I could reorganize it <laughs> yes. to uh, be actually better. <laughs> DDR Jake style. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just lazy. Quit making me do work. So why the heck does one of my provinces have plus 13 base unrest? It doesn't say I, what it's coming from. I don't know, and I can't see any unrest in any of your prob Oh, no, no, there, there it is. is. It's in Chaliaba. Chaliaba, yeah. yeah. It's just something you started with. Great. Yeah. <laughs> it, <that's> <laughs> because <laughs> reasons? <laughs> just Usually the... you don't see base unrest unless it comes from uh, directly from an event. Yeah. So it's because of reasons, basically. Yeah, it's basically reasons. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Now you have zero percent. Nice. Yeah, I took an event that lowered it. Look, 5k again in Sindirsk. Apparently, this is the second time I show weakness already. You haven't declared war. Khan. Stop showing weakness then. <laughs> Simple you solution, that man. <laughs> as, as a Khanate, you need to be consistently at war or else bad shit happens to you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like... How, who, am I supposed to declare war on uh, Muscovy? We could declare war on Uzbek. Yeah, you can just go team up with Uzbek right now. Okay. They have no allies. We can and probably beat them? In a pinch, I can back you up. Okay. Like, I can abandon this war with Crimea anytime, just take some shit. Okay, just, I'll start claiming some stuff from... Uh... You don't even need to claim it. You just, you, you're you a con it. You can just attack yeah, for whatever you want. Field. You can use tribal no, 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 but it's you easier to core then. I, mean, I guess. But that takes time. I, I mean, mean, I decided yeah. to attack uh, Crimea. I won't attack them now because they have 11 yeah. rebel regiments there. Well, you can... I'm... You can declare and I'll still have the claim anyway. Yeah. I have to deal with those rebels. If you just start the claim, you can then just declare yeah. war. And you'll... Uh, the claim will finish. Yep. It's a cool trick. Yep. All right. So, so guys. Yeah. If I said I'm gonna attack Austria. <laughs> what? What? I'm gonna attack Austria, even though we can't see them. Why? <laughs> because I'm gonna attack Genoa when they're in the HRE. All oh, right. <laughs> uh. And then Austria shows up with its mighty force and destroys us. <laughs> <laughs> if that happens, I will be impressed. <laughs> because they don't even, well, 
It would be a lot of military access for them to pull yes. that off. Man, the supply yeah. limit in these provinces is just non-existent. Oh shit, it's Siberia! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 we need to attack now. They're fighting rebels. I'll declare war. Will they join me? Oh! Wait, let's see. They have no allies. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Alright? I'll go declare war. I declare war. And I'll call you in. All to arms. The 6k will die. Hello. Or it will run away. Or not. Oh, I caught it. I no guess if, if things start going south, I'm on call. Uh, okay. Great. This went well. Don't they don't chase them into that. Uh, do not go, go into the, the wasteland. <laughs> Stay out of the uncolonized zones. You will yes. die painfully there. Do I'm pretty sure they have more armies though. Let's see. Supply limit pretty damn low there. And we also... have six thousand and ten thousand manpower. Yeah, Marbazo, you should split your army into two. Just try and eat less attrition. Yeah, I just don't want to get killed instantly. Yeah. Step warfare is a strange beast. Alright. <sighs> My economy is non existent. <laughs> My economy is actually pretty good. 0 0.48 per month. Uh oh! 15 per month. And, yep, well, I told you. Who's back, though? <laughs> oh. It's not us. It right, might be right. us next. <laughs> you get a lot of money from spoils of war these days, jeez. Well, they can go fight the Timorese. Yeah. They're actually running through your lands with uh, 5k. Who are they going to? They're going to Cheliaba. They're going to you, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is good. I don't care about them. They can go here as much as they want and take attrition. Which oh, they're actually okay. not taking. <laughs> Jerking my chain here, game. I think they are just running away from the Timorese, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> That's... I can't annex them. Why not? Because it costs 200 diplomatic power. Mm. Oh, okay. What did you spend it for? Uh, nothing. That's my problem. Okay. Didn't you start with enough diplo power? Yeah. No. I, I, had start, I started with 10 diplomatic power oh, because I have, my okay. fucking con is shit. I have 300 right now. Yeah, power. same. <laughs> and my leader is pretty bad, as in ruler. He's a two to one. Yeah, I guess he's not zero zero, to like. Uh... Yeah, I had <laughs> a zero in diplomacy, so uh, <laughs> I served like ten power. It's awful. Wow! Look at the attrition they have in Perm, fifteen percent. <laughs> oh damn! You also got a hell of a rebel force to fight up there. Yeah. Oh, they actually attacked you. Yep. Okay, I'll come and support. Oh, but it's the winter, man. Oh, yeah. they're sending more troops. Okay, you won. Barely. We gotta be careful because it's winter. Yeah, attrition is pretty bad here. I wonder, how long can I just sit on Crimea? Do I get the... Like, do hordes get... Uh, call for peace ever? No idea. I, know. I actually never play the horde, so <laughs> I only <laughs> played them like a little bit, and that was a long time ago. Right now, I'm just kind of like gambling that if I just wait, they will actually uh, see the exhaustion's high enough. Yeah, I know. Their but... provinces will defect. Oh shit! All of them are the right culture. They won't. Damn. Hmm. Unfortunate. I think you need off yeah, you need off culture to get them to effect. I wish I lived in more enlightened times. <laughs> okay, now they're coming to you, Marbs, I think. Yeah. And that's quite a lot of troops. Yeah, I'll come to support you. We can I think we can actually kill them. Can we? Maybe. I guess I'm doing alright up there. Let's find out. Ooh, even the Timurids joined in on the uh, Uzbek beatdown. 
Oh, are they actually going to attack you? Okay. No, they're not. They didn't come in here. Yeah, we need to they... get out of here because of attrition. Yeah, like they decided last second. Mm. Oh, I'm not going in here. They are moving east. We can catch them there. Okay. Yep. Nope, they nope. changed their mind. Just attack them. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's just attack them. And then we lose and then we blame... Uh, I'm about Yogan. to get more cavalry. <laughs> if, yeah, you have more cavalry. So yes, we should I, win. That's why I'm just like, just attack them, you will win. Oh, the damage, the shock, the power. Okay, never mind. Well, now we're losing more. <laughs> we did it. We're fine. Yeah, but at the, like in the beginning, before you joined, I was pretty effective, I think. And then after that, somehow... <laughs> Barbara guess... just has a net negative effect. By being around him, everyone <laughs> yeah. sucks more. <laughs> this is true. This is very true. And RNG uh, is worth. <laughs> yeah. A piece of the orange Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Stay out of the battles, Marvazir. <laughs> Just don't get near me. <laughs> I'm coming to you. <laughs> I'll help you. Wait, how did this battle change directly from plains to mountains? There aren't even mountains in this province. <laughs> there are now. <laughs> there Wait, are now. Isn't there supposed to be like a single uh, kind of terrain now? Yeah, yeah. thank god they changed that. Yeah. Can we uh, like that feature? Yes, I percent love it. Chance. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> Do away the percent chance because, oh, in our last series of Marbazir, you weren't around Prussian friends, but uh, uh, three times in a row, I rolled a 5% chance to get mountains when attacking rebels in a province. Really? Yep. Yes. And did you lose? Yes. yes. Every time. <laughs> I actually had to get Marbazir's help to get them out. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I can't roll good enough. I think you need help. Uh, yeah. Okay. I have since been making many sacrifices. I have sliced the bellies of many goats in the name of Orange Jesus. Amen. And I lost. Okay. Well, you keep the stack at least. I'm gonna see if I can destroy them. Well, that's pretty much why I usually don't carpet siege too much. I started mm -hmm. moving immediately, but that wasn't fast enough. So I'm beginning to think I don't ever actually have to make peace with Crimea. I'm just gonna sit here until I have 200 diplomatic power. <laughs> this is probably enough war score to annex some provinces. I can take four right now. Hmm. But I feel well, like I, I'm not a war leader, so I could get a separate deal. Okay. Uh, so we can do it this way, actually. I can get two. Uh, yeah, you get. I will transfer occupation to you, and then you get your deal, and then I peace out, as you say. How do you Should transfer occupation? Uh, uh, if you just click on it, uh, there's a little button. I don't see it. Okay, if you click on it, it's right under the uh, diplomacy button. To do oh, I see it now, yeah. okay. Well, if I get some more war score, I'll get three provinces instead of two. Yeah. So, what's your war score? Twenty-five percent. Oh wait, isn't that the whole thing, though? I uh, yeah, it is. Ten percent. The alliance. So I need more. Okay. Uh... Yes, let's burn some books. That seems like a very step thing to do. <laughs> Books were expensive in the 15th century, man. <laughs> it's true. Oh. Well, All they right. are still moving in. Uh, 146 diplomatic power. How long has this war been going on? Five years. No uh, call for peace in sight. It's great. Oh, they are running away. Right. Ah, uh, freaking Siberian nationalists are sieging my stuff now. <laughs> Yeah. Aw, oh, I spoke too soon. The call for peace, I guess, has a minimum of five years before it kicks Their in. general has four in the wrong stat. Four fire? Yeah. <laughs> That's useful in 1449. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of guns to be had. Yeah. For all those <laughs> cannons you don't have. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hmm. Protect against Muscovy. Have an army equal or larger. So, okay, Levine, did you conquer Austria yet? Are you the Holy Roman Emperor yet? No, I still have, don't have enough diplomatic power to annex Slugger. 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 What's your... Holy crap, what is your war exhaustion, Marbs? I just noticed mm -hmm. mine. 5.0. 4.26. It's And it's growing, 0 0.23 Oh, my Aries, a 6 to 3, not bad. You whore. <laughs> I'm not another complaining, scene. but my air is a 1-3-2, so it's pretty <laughs> subpar. Just a little bit. I think we need to peace soon, otherwise we will die mm. to war exhaustion. Yeah, probably. Careful not to overdo it. Well, I only have unrest in Chaliaba still. Where is that? I, I think we should just... I'm about to easy. finish one siege. I'll just finish this one siege. Okay. All I'll right, get out let's of see. It's at 49%. Four, that's 12, 3, okay. 6, 7, 8. 8 months. All right, I can wait 8 months for... Uh, 63%. Anyway. 8 months! It's, this is where it takes half a year to finish a siege. <laughs> Had <laughs> yeah, that happened no. in the past, I'd just like to point that out. Oh, the RNG. Oh, it happened again! 70%. <laughs> yep. I don't think there's still any mechanic in the game that would guarantee a finished siege, or is there? Uh, well, Could you, in like theory, so... have a siege that would last for the entire game for 100 years? It's theoretically possible, sure, but at the rate of one tick for every 15 days... <laughs> but it's possible, in theory. In theory. I'm sure some people have RNG bad enough to make that happen. Yep, checking in. So, are we piecing yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, I'm just making a deal of okay. some description. Mm. Okay, I, well, let me transfer stuff to you. Okay, no, nah, he's done. I see. Now you can piece out. Yeah. Mm. Well, I will go for some more stuff. It's still 24% for me. Well... Uh, I think in order to get some more stuff, you're going to first have to deal with some uh, nationalists. Guess what? The air, my air has died. Tra a hunting accident. <laughs> That's about right. I actually don't know how good he was. I never checked, sadly. <laughs> All right. I bet it was an accident. Hey, Kelvin. One more months. I'll call you to war. Can you un can you unseach my little territory here, firm? Yeah, sure. And get 5 million attrition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm better than that. The supply limit in friendly provinces is 8. Mm. So, I'm just going to send 7. Just to make sure. <laughs> well, actually, but. even uh, just a few would be enough. The garrison, but you might be scared of rebels popping up, I guess. <laughs> now, everybody oh. wants a piece of Uzbek. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Who else declared war? Well, they are oh, a yeah, in Mongolia. So, yeah. Uzbek will get wrecked. <laughs> yes. Poor Uzbek. You and we're next. <laughs> I would keep an eye on the Timorids. Yes, and then Oirat will come over here. Anyway, I think it's time to make a cut. Uh, and yeah. finish this episode. Aww. Sure. I'm two oh. months away from annexing Crimea. You can finish that in the next part of it. So, Bye. thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. See you next time.